For today's video, I have a few things to share, a few announcements to make uh, for our plans for next year for Supercoach 2022. Uh, in regards to the podcast, uh, my own YouTube channel, and also at the end of the video, I'll share a few things about um, players that I want in my when Supercoach opens, uh, players that I'll have in my starting team, players to watch over the preseason. But uh, definitely been a long pre uh, long off season, and can't wait to get back into it. So um, before we get stuck into it, actually, um, if anyone's seen the TV show Arcane on Netflix best show ever so i'm just saying but, but we'll get back into the supercoach stuff so so next year our podcast will be called fantasy take tv we'll be saying ft tv a lot um so the reason why it's no longer supercoach take not because it's a fantasy podcast um it's still a supercoach podcast but um just the branding the um the twitter page will do a little bit of nfl nba and also a little bit of a fantasy but 90% will be a for Supercoach and the podcast will be 100% Supercoach, but just gives us a bit of flexibility for the future. So, um, yeah, it's still the same podcast, but it will be a video podcast. So, uh, I think that'll be fun to see the reactions on our faces when we uh, uh, give each other shit. So, I think, um, can't wait for that, but yeah, that should be good. So you can see the salt, the tears from JD when he complains that, that something didn't go right. He fielded the wrong rookie. So, so I think that'll be fun. Um, we're also looking at doing a Patreon for next year, so it's very important that we get this right, and uh, we're still deciding on whether we do it or not, and we're going to list, we will list um, what we're doing, what what the Patreon would have in it in January, and we'll get feedback from it. If it gets good feedback, we'll do it. If it doesn't get good feedback, we won't do it, but you know, it won't be expensive, but some of the things we're looking at doing are, it's off the top of my head, um, so we'll do some tournaments with prizes, so um, sort of like knockout, like eliminator, but um, we'll do our own, maybe with like a double bracket, something like that, hopefully get a lot of people join that. Um, we'll do video reviews of players in the Discord, uh, we'll have player power rankings um, in, in the Discord, as well as, you know, maybe once a week, uh, some of us, me, JD, or Eno, probably two of us, jump in voice chat and people can ask us questions for half an hour during the week, stuff like that. So it'll be stuff like that. Um, more details will be released in January, but we want to make sure we get it right and it's well received. Otherwise, we won't do it. But um, something that we're looking at, nonetheless. Uh, we're also looking at doing a few crossover podcasts with Dr. Supercoach. I'm not sure if I'd let her announce that yet, but um, hopefully they're, they're okay with that. But yeah, I'm really excited to do a few podcasts with them. They were the best community in 2021. We were probably second best if you go by league, league results. So um, yeah, two of the... Yeah, to the highest ranked communities in 2021. Um, sharing discussion should be high level discussion. Really excited for that. Learn a few things. So I think that'll be good. Um, but yeah, they they run a really really professional good podcast. So um, it'd be good to mix with them. So onto my own team. So that's the plans for 2022. Lots of things going on. Um, on to my own super coach team. So this is a this is stuff I can't wait for. Um, first name I have. Jordan Dawson, I think the Crows really, really need him to play inside mid, to be honest, but I'm not the coach. He might be played on a wing, but you know he played inside mid as a junior. He's a great ball user, and he's tall. I think the Crows really need that at um, right now in the midfield because the tall, powerful mids kill us every time. So, see how that goes. Um, but yeah, if he plays inside a mid, I think he's got a pretty high ceiling, so we'll see. Another player that's interesting is... Well, in the Rucks this year, or in 2022, I think the Rucks will be very difficult because Gorn and Grundy, it's not quite as click up. There might be another Ruckman pop up. You know, Sean Darcy's there, but he's got injury issues. You know, Ron Marshall, do you want to start in mid or forward? Um, is Grundy going to get back to his, I don't know, 120 average? Probably not 130, but can he get back there? Um, but Oscar McInerney, 500k, was the second or third, I think it was second highest scoring Ruck after the bye in 2021. Having a big preseason, apparently, wants to, I think Zorko said he wants to be the best Ruckman in the league. Uh, really impressed on day one of preseason. So, it's got me thinking. So, I think I'll just chuck him in at R2 for now, but we'll see. But yes, I was very impressed with him in the final series. Um, but he's been very good. He was very good. So, we'll see how he goes. Um, does have that mark, can do a bit around the ground, so that's kind of the modern day ruck, which is good. Now, next point, next few players I want to mention is I think there's going to be a, there will be a lot of players around 200k. So 
I have Dacos, Juan Francis, Finn McRae, Dylan Stevens, Wolf Phillips, um, might be missing someone, uh, Charlie Kerno as well, will all be around 200k. So a lot of players that I think are reasonable options. Um, Dylan Stevens and Wolf Phillips didn't really impress me too much in 2021, so they need a big preseason. But Stevens might have some opportunity, and you know Will Phillips did miss a lot of footballs in um, junior year, so we'll see how he goes. Dacos and Horn look pretty good. I think Dacos should get some mid-time, not sure how much, but Horn Francis might get a lot of forward time, but we'll see. Um, but high contested rate, so should have good job security and score well. So, and also, um, Ed, no, I keep saying Ed, Charlie Kuno um, will be between 190 and 230k, depending, depending on his discount. So, he averaged 77 a few years ago when he was fit. So if he's fully fit, if you can get like a 75 average from a 200k player, it might be pretty good, but um, probably not for me at this stage, but we'll see how he goes. And also, this draft, so draft night, um, Wednesday night, so excited for that. Um, a lot of midfielders in the top, in the top 40 actually, but I think there's a lot of good ones in top 15 anyway that might be ready to go. So I think Hobbs and Ward are the two to probably keep an eye on. Um ready to go mids and a few others as well but uh, we'll see and uh, that's all from me uh, thanks for watching so yeah we'll get kick started mid-december and start pumping out content i uh, can't wait so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys soon